And joining us now on the sharp criticism on Israel coming from different directions is former Israeli diplomat to the United States, Yoram Ettinger. Yoram, Israel is taking sharp criticism these days on its policies in Judea and Samaria. The U.S. and the U.N. Security Council are putting uh, on pressure. Is their criticism fair or lopsided? Well, this is uh, back to routine, the way it has been since 1948 with uh, presidents under the influence of State Department pressuring uh, Israel. Uh, one should not ignore the fact that while that pressure goes on, the commercial and mostly defense cooperation between the U.S. and Israel has surged dramatically even in recent uh, days as a result of the U.S. Uh, national security uh, branches, intelligence, defense industry, aerospace industry, commercial high tech, recognizing the very unique capabilities uh, of Israel, which have uh, contributed tremendously to the U.S. In fact, in uh, excess of what is erroneously called U.S. foreign aid to Israel. Yoram, and uh, the Jewish vigilante violence is being widely condemned, including by the top security officials and most of the political leadership. Why can more not be done to rein in uh, this problem, actually? Well, the fact is that we're talking about a very, very minute, uh, tinier than tiny uh, minority among the Jews residing in Judea and Samaria, uh, the number one element that is uh, urging the law authorities in Israel to reign on those uh, uh, on this minority are the settlers uh, themselves. However, however, we're talking about a tiny minority in Israel compared to the official voice of the Palestinian Authority, which means hate education. Uh, terrorism, and uh, the best, most effective production line of terrorists conducted by Mahmoud Abbas, by the Palestinian Authority. To talk about those two phenomena uh, in the same vein constitutes what I call a, rep a very, uh, very obvious example of the immoral moral equivalence in Israel, this is a tiny minority which walks against the grain. Terrorists among the Palestinians are heralded by the establishment, heralded by the school system, heralded by the Palestinian religious system. And any uh, moral equivalence uttered too often by the State Department or certainly by the UN constitutes tailwind to more and more uh, terrorism on the part of the Palestinians. We'll be right back to Abbas. Now, there was a sharp criticism also of Israeli settlement policy. Ambassador Erdan was unapologetic, and he said that Jews have rights to live and build in Judea and Samaria. The U.S. is against us. Does Israel have any international support on this issue? Or is it, again, as you said, repeating itself back to routine? Well, it's, it's, uh, it's a routine, but I would say one of the lesser cases of the routine. You go back 75 years, uh, the, founder, the founding father, David Ben-Gurion, was heavily pressured by the American president, then Truman, the State Department, the CIA, the New York Times, Washington Post, to do away with Israel's control of certain areas in the Galilee, in the Negev coastal plain, and to give up the whole of West Jerusalem. And he defied that uh, pressure. The pressure which we experience today is a very, very weak replica of previous examples of American pressure. Each one of them was defied by Israeli prime ministers and defiance of pressure caused short-term friction, but awarded Israel with long-term respect for its strategic resolve. And strategic respect is much, much more important than tenuous popularity. 
Definitely is. Now, President Herzog, he called Palestinian President Abbas after the holiday greeting. They pretty much discussed uh, ways to lower the tensions in the area. Defense Minister Gallant yesterday, he met a top PA leader. Are these contacts significant? Well, it seems to me that the most significant contact would be the, the, a determination by Israel, hopefully by the U.S., to end uh, hate education conducted by Mahmoud Abbas by the Palestinian Authority. Hate education is the most authentic reflection of the identity of the Palestinian leadership and certainly their vision and policy. Sadly, uh, too many Israeli leaders and the entire establishment of foreign policy in Washington accords much more weight to diplomatic statements rather than hate education. Hate education is the Palestinian walk. Diplomatic statements is the Palestinian talk. The walk is much more significant than the talk. And until, and until there is an end to hate education in the Palestinian Authority, there will not be an end to terrorism by the Palestinian Authority. There's still a lot of work to do, Yoram. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you.